making sure we fill in number seven and number eight, please, on your table of contents. Make sure you fill in number seven and number eight on our table of contents. All right, so today we're going to take notes on absolute value, and then we do have a homework assignment that we're going to do. Guys, while you're writing that down on our table of contents, I want to talk to you for a second. All right, what we're doing today in class is brand new. You have never done this before in math, period. Okay? When you learn something for the very first time, it sh you're going to learn with easy problems. Okay? When you learn something for the very first time, you're going to start off with really easy problems. Guys, this is the first time you'll do absolute value. You learn it in the sixth grade. And then they're going to build on it in the seventh grade. And then they're going to build and do more with it in the eighth grade. And then you're still going to be using absolute value when you do G algebra at high school, or some of you will do algebra in the eighth grade. You'll still be doing absolute value in geometry. You're still going to be doing absolute value in algebra two or in trigonometry. All right? Absolute value carries on. You keep adding. All right? Absolute value is an operation. As of right now, the only operations y'all know how to do are add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Absolute value. Shh. Absolute value is a new one. Yes, Jacob. Um, Trigonometry. It's not, and you'll see it at the high school. It'll be super fun. Okay, I loved it. It was like one of my favorite math. All right. All math can do that. All right. So real quick, let's get focused again. Okay. So guys, I'm not telling you that because I want you to be scared of like, oh, this is something new. I'm telling you that because today is going to be so easy. You're going to want to do everything in your head. But here's the deal. What we're doing right now with absolute value in the sixth grade is actually kind of silly. I'm not going to lie. All right? It's a little premature in my opinion because of a lot of the things that are different about absolute value happen when you have adding and subtracting negative numbers. Have we learned or talked about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide negative numbers? No. Not yet. Not yet. But we will at the end of the year. We will do that at the end of the year because, because in the seventh and eighth grade, in the seventh grade, that's what you're going to start learning is adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing positive and negatives. So we'll kind of we'll hit it at the end of the year. So you've seen it a little bit before. All right. But this. Absolute value becomes very different when you add those in, okay? The steps that I'm showing you today seem very repetitive. It looks like you're doing the same thing. But once you get to the 7th and 8th grade, if you do it a different way, it's not going to work. So while today you're going to be like, oh, but Ms. Sawyer, I did it this way and got the same answer. Okay, because this is 6th grade and you don't have any funky negatives. If you do it that way next year, you're going to get them all wrong. So... I want you to do it my way, not because it's the only way to get the right answer, but because it's the only way you're going to get the right answer next year. Are we following that? Yes. Okay. All right, let's look at this, okay? Absolute value. Let me zoom out a little. All right, today's notes are number seven. This is 10, 16, 18. Make sure you put your name on there. All right, so I told you absolute value is an operation. So just like adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, you do something with the numbers, that's what absolute value is. But what absolute value does, we're not like putting numbers together. That's already taken care of with addition. I'm not taking something away. That's subtraction. All right, what absolute value does is it measures the distance. A number is from zero. It measures the distance. A number is from zero. And guys, it's really important here. Did it say it measures the, different, uh, the distance numbers are from zero? It says it measures the distance A number. That's really important. All right, if I want to know how far something is from zero, can I be looking at two things at the same time? No. No. So, guys, it's really important right here when we're saying it measures the distance A number is from zero, that's specifically talking about one number, which means when you do the absolute value, you can only do one number. All right? 
down here, this is kind of an example of how it works. All right? So just like when you're adding, you got to see a plus sign, right? When you're subtracting, you got to see a minus sign. If you're multiplying, I should see some sort of multiplication sign. All right? Right here, these bars, those are called absolute value bars. Absolute value bars. Real creative, right? Make sure you label that. If I write it, you write it. Right. Those are called absolute value bars. So what they do is tell me anything that's inside these bars, we want to know how far it is from zero. So right now, this has the bars around it, so I want to know what is the absolute value of negative 3. So I want to know how far is negative 3 from zero. So guys, if you'll look up here and count, that's 1, 2, 3 spaces, correct? So what you're going to do is you're going to take the absolute value of negative 10. Mm -hmm. How far is negative 10 from 0? 10. 10. And then that negative just comes down in front of it. So your answer is just negative 10. Okay. All right. So, guys, when I'm looking here, again, the absolute value of negative 3, there's negative 3, there's 0, 1, 2, 3 spaces away. So my absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Okay? That's all you're doing is telling me how far it is from 0. True? How is it, how is it ever get there? We'll get there, okay? We'll get there. It does. It does. You can keep making that face or we can continue with this, okay? All right? Cameron? So is it once the front. Hmm? You're just, how far is it from zero? That's all you're telling me. So, like, guys, right here, this is the absolute value of five. So here's five, here's zero. How far is zero and five? Five, five spaces. I know you're like, oh my goodness. I, and I know it looks like this is impossible to get harder. That's because you're only doing this. Wait until you put it with other operations, okay? okay All right, right here, absolute value of zero. How far is zero from zero? Zero. 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 All right, so guys, here's going to be kind of our rule, all right? And I think, and I kind of figured this out a little bit later in the game today, all right? If there's one number, like these, there's just one step. Write your answer down. If there's more than one number, there's going to be more than one step. And we're going to look at that in a minute, okay? All right. Let's look at number one. Number one. All right, the, bar, the bars are already there. This already has. Look, it has bars right here. The bars are already there. Sit, sit. If I said 2 plus 3 equals 5, am I going to put a plus sign with the 5? No. no. This has the absolute value of negative 3. That is it. It's 3 spaces from 0. That's my answer. We did the operation. Does that make sense? So, like, you're doing it, so no, you don't need them. Because that would be like putting the plus sign after you add it. All right? That sounds kind of silly. Okay? Yes, Jay? I need you to speak up because I can't hear you. We're fixing to look at number one. If I show it, you show it. Okay? Because I'm not going to make you draw out a number line on all of these. I'm not going to make you do that. All right? Because I know that right now, raise your hand if you can tell me the absolute value of negative seven. How far is negative seven from zero? Juan Carlos? Seven, seven spaces. All right? One number, one step. Do you all see how that works? One number, one step. Okay? What is the absolute value of 5? Raise your hand if you can tell me. How far is 5 from 0? Dylan? 5. Five. Guys, y'all know the deal. If you want to answer something, please just raise your hand. That's all I need you to do. Okay? All right. Now, guys, what do you notice on number 3? Do I just have one number anymore? No. In fact, I have two numbers. And, guys, on ours, it's, we're going to keep it pretty simple. This is 6th grade. And your rule is if it's two numbers, I should see two steps. Is that simple enough for y'all? Yes. Okay. One number, one step, two numbers, two steps. So, guys, I want to talk about what this says. I need our hands down for a minute, okay? Right now, this says the absolute value of negative 9 plus the absolute value of 3. The absolute value of negative 9 plus the absolute value of 3. Is that just telling me to add right now? No, it's saying the absolute value of 9 
plus the absolute value of 3. Before I can add them, what do I need to know? Jacob? Uh, so it's like brackets. You have to do the um, absolute values, then you can add They work very much like brackets and parentheses. We have to do that first. So right now, before I can add, I'm not saying 9 plus 3. I'm saying the absolute value of 9. Do I, can I figure out what that is? What is the absolute value of 9, Ryan? Of negative 9, I'm sorry, is 9. The absolute value of negative 9 is 9. Plus, can I determine what the absolute value of 3 is, Kaden? 3. Now, does it say 9 plus 3? Yes. So now, can you add? Yes. And we get? So, so, guys, again, I know right now this step seems really dumb. All right? But, but next year it's going to matter. And I'm going to kind of give you an example. So seventh grade, here you go, seventh grade, this is what you're going to be seeing. Seventh grade, I'm going to give you the exact same problem, but it's going to work out completely differently. Okay? Yeah. Negative nine plus three. And this time they're all inside. Okay? Right now, these pretty much look like the same problem, don't they? Two numbers, two steps. Two numbers, we're going to have two steps. My steps are going to be different. My answers are going to be different. Okay? This time, think about it again like those parentheses, like those brackets. Everything in here is together, isn't it? This doesn't say the absolute value of 9 plus the absolute value of 3. It says the absolute value of negative 9 plus 3. Now, guys, here's my question. If I'm looking at a number line, can I tell how far negative 9 plus 3 is from 0? No. So what am I going to need to do, Rylan? Okay, so how did you get your negative 6, Rylan? Because negative 9 is lower than 0. Mm -hmm. so okay. Mm. okay, so you're on the right track, but I don't want us talking about 0 right now because I'm not comparing this to 0. Can I compare two different numbers? Can I find one distance from 0 if there are two completely different numbers? Yeah. No. If I want to find a distance from 0, I need, how many numbers did we say in our definition? One. Yeah. So what we've got to do is we've got to put those together. Now, guys, I need our hands down for a second, okay? I know a lot of y'all, common sense, we can figure out, like, our number reasoning. Logically, you can figure out what this is going to be. At the end of the year, we're going to talk about exactly what the rules are, okay? So I'm going to tell you right now, in the seventh grade, you're going to look at negative 9 plus 3, and you're automatically going to be able to say it's negative 6. All right? If that's not clicking for you right now, it's cool. We're going to get it at the end of the year, all right? Now, guys, when I, now that I've added that together, Dylan, I need a space in the front, please, and I need your note side, please. Thank you. All right? Now, guys, this says the absolute value of negative 6. How far is negative 6 from 0? 6. Do you all see how these look like the same problem, but my steps are completely different? They're both two steps. Does it matter what you're doing in that middle step? Yes. This, we had to take the absolute value and then add them. On this one, we had to add them and then take the absolute value. In the sixth grade, guys, it's going to seem like it doesn't matter. It does matter. Okay? All right, let's look at number 14 real quick. How far is 14 from 0, Jay? 14. 14. Number 5, two numbers, two steps. How far is 5 from 0, um, Kaden? 5. 5. Plus, how far is negative 6 from 0, Brooke? 6. The reason I did those separately is because they are separate. 5 plus 6? 11. 11. Okay, number 8, keeping them separate, absolute value of negative 8. 8 minus the absolute value of negative 2? Two. 2. 2 numbers, 2 steps. What do I get when I subtract those? 6. All right, guys, are there questions about how we're doing this? All right, number seven, absolute value of 9 plus 11. Absolute value of 9 plus 11. Let me move that up some. What do I need to do first, Jay? We're going to do 9 plus 11. What does that give me? 20. Guys, is my answer just 20? Yes. Not right now. Right now, I'm only adding those. Have I found the distance yet? Oh, yeah. No. Now that I have one number, now can I find out how far that is from zero? Yes. When I was doing 9 plus 11, could I do 9 plus 11? Where is 9 plus 11 on the number line? 
You see what I'm saying? Can I find out how far that is from zero? Is there a spot on the number line that says 9 plus 11? It's right here. No. All right. So we have to put them together. Is 20 on the number line? Yes. Yes. How far from zero is 20? 20. 20 spaces. And again, guys, you can see in the sixth grade, this step looks really silly. But in the seventh grade, it's going to matter. Are my bars there or are they gone? All right. Number eight. One last thing that I want to show you. Um, a negative of an absolute value of negative eight. All right. You could see problems like this. This looks a little funky. What do you think I need to do here? Sure. I think you need to find the absolute value of negative eight. I think that's a great idea. And I know I interrupted you, but that's the perfect solution. Because the thing is, guys, even if you look at this funky, you all know what those bars mean, right? You know that it's a negative eight on the inside. Can you do that? Yeah. So we're going to start there. So, Drew, what do I get when I do that? Uh, eight. An eight. Now, I know I interrupted you. So now what were you going to say you think I need to do? Um, then, guys, that negative that was up there, you're just going to bring it down. So can you have a negative answer? Yes. yes, if the negative is on the outside. It's on the outside. All right. So, guys, I want you to get a piece of paper. I know a lot of this, it's not a whole lot of work. But remember, if it's two problems, I want to see the two steps. Your homework is page 421, 7 through 9. 22 to 30 is for my regular classes through 34 for my advanced, okay? 34 to my advanced, because that's just a few more kind of challenge problems. Again, my regular classes, I encourage them to try them, all right? You guys are required for a grade, okay? All right, I need us getting a piece of paper, getting it set up. The book page is on the back of that worksheet.